your favorite internet best friends just became your best friend. I'm Brianna Fox. And I'm Amanda Devon. We've teamed up to create a space where we can get comfortable with being vulnerable to talk candidly about life in our 30s. Get ready to laugh, cry, and guide each other off the ledge we call life. This is In Her Skin. Welcome back. <laughs> we are going to be taking a love language test today. I'm so excited. I feel like love languages are so important just to know know yourself better, but also know how you can just be in all of your relationships, especially with your significant other, but also friendships. Um, Amanda's taken it before. I have. So she will reveal what her answer is at the end. At the end. <laughs> um, but we're going to find out what mine is. And I think I know what it is, but... Well, five. Should I say what I think that my love language is? Well, let's is? talk about the five okay. love languages, which if I'm going to do this off the top of my head, we have words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time. Um, what's the gift one? It's gifts. Like, gifts. Okay. And then what's the Acts fifth? of service. Acts of service. So those are your five. And um, yeah, I guess now that we know the five... Let's dive right in. Let's dive right in. And tell me what you think what yours would be then. Acts of service for sure. Okay. Um, But I think, because I also think that like some of them go hand in hand for me. I think a close second tied would be quality time and physical touch. Yes. I literally, gift giving makes me uncomfortable. I don't like <laughs> gifts. Don't so that's so easy for me. And words of affirmation, like, I mean, I can't say that's not on there. I just don't think that that's like one of the top ones. And that's what I love about the, just the quiz in general is I think we can all in some capacity enjoy all of the love languages, but it tells you what's your most important and it gives you kind of a percentage of your 45% acts of service or, and then it just kind of narrows it down. So that's what I really like about that. I like that. Because yeah, for sure. I have, I enjoyed gifts throughout my journey in life. Absolutely. (laughs) But is it something that thrives for me in a relationship? Absolutely not. And that's what I love about just learning what has you operating at your fullest, like what makes you feel fulfilled. Yeah. So what fills your cup? What fills your cup? I also think it's interesting because I'm curious to see what my love language is and all of them or whatever, but also if it kind of matches up to like how I show love because I think that they can be different so we'll we'll get there we'll discuss so yay let's Um, dive right in there are many quizzes online this is from blossom up in case you're curious and want to take it as well so I feel most loved when my partner takes care of me when I'm sick or spends quality time with me that's a hard one because I feel (laughs) like like that's the same thing (laughs) Already something you. I'm gonna say spends quality time with me because I can take care of myself. (laughs) Right. Okay. Perfect. (laughs) What would you say? Same. Same. Okay. I feel most love when my partner a offers support when I'm feeling down, or b cuddles with me on the couch. I would say offer support when I'm feeling down. Same. That's a hard one. But because like the first question basically was like quality time, and then this one is cuddling with me on the couch like the same thing but this one's a little more deeper like Mm -hmm. that's what I would want a partner to do for me for sure because like I wouldn't not want you to give me support when I'm feeling down but I could also sit separately on the couch right I feel most loved when my partner a has a deep conversation with me or b gets me something I've been wanting (laughs) can you I just can't imagine picking the second one (laughs) like I don't need to talk to you just buy me shit (laughs) um deep conversation for sure Perfect. That's funny because like sometimes, sure, (laughs) don't talk to me. Just (laughs) buy this for me. What are you buying me? Yeah, exactly. I feel most loved when my partner shows an interest in learning and growing or watches a movie with me. I feel like that's (gasps) also just a very like super opposite, or just chill. Obviously growing. I want the interest in learning and growing as well. I feel most love with my partner. A, helps me out with house chores or B, lets me vent when I'm stressed. 
I'm sorry, but you gotta be equal. <laughs> it does because if I'm I'm stressed and you're doing house chores, then like you don't have to hear me vent because now half of my stress is gone because I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> That'd be true. You know, I feel like most of my stress is like a million things added on. So if it's like one less thing off my plate, then I'm a little less stressed and I don't need to vent. But also venting sounds so good. I'm gonna. Then I don't want to overvent all the time either. I'm gonna say vent because if I had to pick between the two of like what I wouldn't have, yeah. I enjoy cleaning and stuff. Right. So I'm going to pick the vent. Because, like, imagine you can't vent when you're stressed. Yeah. That I'd wouldn't be okay vent. with me. No, I'd pick vent, too. I feel most love when my partner, A, playfully roasts me as a part of our banter, or B, holds my hand when we're out. I got to go with the roast. I need the roast. I need the roast. <laughs> but I do love holding hands in public. That is nice. It is. Um, I saw someone post about like their man grabbing the back of their neck when mm-hmm. they're walking. Just, yeah. And it literally is like all, like Just directing. Like, mm-hmm. I never know, like realized it. I'm like, oh, Ruben does Ruben that does all, all the, time. the time. And I think that is way hotter than holding my hand. Like yeah. grab my neck. For sure. Mm-hmm. I agree. Why do I turn so there? Like grab my neck. my neck. Grab my neck. <laughs> 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 okay, I feel most loved when my partner A surprises me with my favorite treat or B helps me face my fears. <laughs> what is this quiz? I'm going to go with the treat. <laughs> no. Obviously helps me face my fears. Are you fucking kidding me? It's ridiculous. I feel like some of these uh, questions are just so superficial. Which Maybe they're doing these first to get down to like the nitty gritty, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I feel most love when my partner A cooks me a meal or B hugs me when I'm stressed. Oh, that's hard, but I'm going to say hug me when I'm stressed. I agree. Even though I do really enjoy when he cooks for me. I'm such a physical person and sometimes just a hug makes things go away. It just like melts it, off of you. I agree. And, like, that's what will, like, make me cry. <laughs> like, I'm such a, like, stone cold, like, keep it together. Same. And if he hugs me, I'm like, <gasps> yeah. <Yep. laughs> let it out. I feel most loved when my partner, A, values my intelligence. B, takes a weekend trip with me. I can't. <laughs> values my intelligence. I would love a weekend trip, but if I had to pick between the two. Oh, right. <laughs> and I also think when you start picking certain ones, it starts to answer or asking you questions they're different questions mm-hmm. so like if i were to just take this separate where i'm gonna have different questions if i chose like one other thing it that goes down sense. like a different route if that makes sense so that, that i feel like that's why these are so polar now because we keep just picking the like, one i'm good without the you don't need to value my intelligence <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what? okay <clears throat> i feel most love when my partner a encourages me to share my feelings or B, encourages my personal growth. Those are hard. Encourages me to share my feelings or encourages my personal growth. Because how can you grow if you're not sharing your feelings? Yeah, I was going to say for me especially, those are like very intertwined. All right, let's talk about this. I think, oh man, I think it's bad if I choose one or the other. Because I feel like if I were to have to pick right now, I would want to choose personal growth. Because I want, personally, a partner that wants to see me thrive in the things that I love, the things that I do. Because doing that will help our relationship thrive. But then if I choose that and I have a a partner that doesn't want to hear my feelings of what's going on in my life, what's going on in our relationship, how do you personally grow? Yeah, I think I might choose feelings for that reason. Because personal growth can't happen if you can't share your feelings right that's a really hard one i would say that they're equal and you can't have one without the other but i feel like for that reason i have to choose feelings oh i feel weird picking it (laughs) okay i feel most loved when my partner a cracks me up with funny stories or b engages in my hobbies and interests B, right off the bat for me. For real? Yeah, because I think I'm the funniest in the relationship, so he doesn't have to make me laugh because (laughs) I make me laugh. Okay. I think I'm going to say cracks me up with funny stories because I don't need him in my hobbies and interests, but we can still like do things together and it doesn't have to be like my thing. Yeah, yeah. I feel most love when my partner A remembers important dates and surprises me 
or B, runs errands for me. Oh, mine's errands. Yeah, mine's errands too. That's really helpful. Yeah. And not, like, you like, don't I'm just to remember thinking, things. It's fine. No, and I'm just thinking about my relationship currently. Jake is always, hey, I'm going to go to the store for you. Do you need anything? Mm-hmm. Same Every with Every time, and I love that. Yep. Or I'm on my way home. Can I stop and get you anything? Yeah. Like, please. Yes. Uh, hot dog buns, please. <laughs> <laughs> but he also, just in general, isn't good at remembering dates. Yeah. And that's okay. It's right. not like it doesn't show that he like cares any less about me. He no. just doesn't remember dates. So that and I don't like me. surprises. Yep, so no. when you no no when you surprise me I'm I'm uncomfortable. I don't think I've ever been surprised, but I think it's because so, I'm a control freak. Yes, and I think that's where what it really boils down to. Because I have been surprised, it's situational for me, mm-hmm. and I, it's I, it's certain things that I'm like, oh, if I was surprised with that, sure. But like if I'm surprised with, like one time in our um our anniversary, we really don't get each other gifts because. Same. We do things throughout the year for each other. So I don't need a gift on my birthday or for Christmas or an anniversary because he'll give me a gift like randomly during the week on a Tuesday and in May. You yeah, know? same. But one anniversary, he did. And Aww. he customed those um, Louis Vuitton um, those shoes. Jordan 1s. Yeah. And I was so uncomfortable. <laughs> I was like, why did you do this? He's like, do you like them? I was like, well, yeah, I but do. why like did why? you do this? <laughs> I love it. Because it was situational where it's like I wasn't expecting it because we don't do that. And so I was like, well, now I feel like an asshole that I don't have anything. I hear you. That makes sense. I don't like I surprises that, yeah. like that. Like, just tell me. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. I love that we're both making errands. <laughs> Okay, I feel like mo- I feel most loved when my partner A plans and takes me out for dates or B validates my feelings through conversation. I am going to go with the conversation. B <laughs> validating my feelings through conversation. I feel most loved when my partner A initiates debates and an intellectual conversations or B makes me feel understood. What was the first one again? Initiates debates and intellectual conversations. I'm or makes say, me feel understood. I'm going to say makes me feel understood. Same. Are we going to have the same? We only had one different We did so that one far. different, but that one different might just throw it all off. It might. Because it's we have like random, I feel like now I have to like give answers to everything. Because like I feel, I want deep conversations. We have intellectual conversations. But at the end of the day, as a girl, I just want to be understood. <laughs> no, I <laughs> 100 percent and i'm down for a debate but if i had to choose between you debating me all the time and i'm just understanding me i'm gonna say understanding okay i feel most loved when my partner a kisses me goodbye or b supports my personal development goals i'm gonna go with the goals yeah i mean between those two a kiss goodbye is important to me though like really important to me yeah um but i'm gonna say supports my personal development goals i agree I feel most love when my partner A takes care of household chores or B joins me in my passion for learning. Hmm. Chores or passion for learning? Learning what? Right. Um, Because I'm going to say chores. chores. (laughs) Because my passion for learning is so complete opposite of what his passion of learning is. 100%. So like I don't need him like involved in that if that's not what he wants. Same. So helping me with chores and us like tidying up our space together, that means more to me. Thank you. I fully agree because I'm like I feel kind of like shallow for saying that but like like you said I don't need you in that aspect. No. Especially if that's not your thing. I was mm-hmm. like, I don't want to be in the things that you're learning. Right. I'll support you. Right. I don't need to be doing Can it. we intertwine and make it a point here and there throughout the relationship? Sure. Like I made Jake watch a Netflix show last mm-hmm. night that was about earth storms. Oh, nice. He would have chose something else, but I was like, I want to learn about tornadoes and volcanoes, <laughs> you know? And he fucking He's watched a little archaeologist, <laughs> you. <laughs> exactly. But I'm not going to shove that down his throat every right. fucking day. It's like, not like top tier. This is more important. No, I'd rather you do the dishes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I feel most loved with my partner. A, attends family events with me. Or B, plans a surprise party for me. I'm going to say attends family events with agree. me. Again, I don't want the surprise. Yeah. Don't do that to me. And like, I would like a surprise party, but like... Family events, that's way more 
consistent. <laughs> like I need more of that than right. just one party. And that just adds to the quality time of like, I want you with my family. I want all of us spending time together. Yeah. I feel most love when my partner A lets me vent without giving advice or B compliments me. <sighs> compliments me. I'm going to say compliments me because, I mean, I vent all the time Mm -hmm. and he just lets me vent and that's great. But if I had to go without him telling me how good I look, I, because it's all day. So I don't know. I just don't think I could not have that. And I'm like thinking deeper into it. Like compliments don't have to just be about appearance. It could be about like. You're doing a really great job at work. Yes. Or like, you've really made my life easier and better in so many ways. Yes. Okay, when we go deep like that, I would choose compliments. Yes. But at the same time, when I do vent, sometimes he'll be on the opposite side of what Mm -hmm. I'm saying. And I'm like, now you've actually just ruined my day. (laughs) Well, and to be honest, like a lot of times I will say when I do vent, he's always there with advice that is different than what I'm looking for. And I know that. So I know if I just need to vent, I'm actually going to go to you for that. Right. Because I know the possibility of like, maybe I don't want an answer. (laughs) Yeah. So I would rather, I think, get complimented. Yeah. Breaking it down like that. I feel most love when my partner, A, gives me a back massage. B, gives me a book that matches my interest. So for me, it's a default because I don't like back massages. I don't like massages. Okay. Maybe, was there anything like physical touchy that you do like? Like a head scratch? Um, my physical touch is really just like embracing so okay. being like snugged into him, holding. Okay, that. Cuddling. Or a book. Or a book. That. Wait. The book? No, no book. Okay, good. I'm going for the back massage. I'm glad that you said it like that and changed it for me. <laughs> yeah. Because, because you just don't like a back massage and that makes sense. Right. But the touch of being touched, I like. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going with the back massage. I feel most love when my partner A supports me during stressful times or B pampers me when I'm sick. Supports me during stressful times. Absolutely. For sure. That's so equal for me too though because I don't feel well often, especially with my period. Yeah. And he makes my life so much easier every single month during that time. If I'm on the couch, he's doing dishes he's making me food he's Mm -hmm. i'm running to the store seven times in a day if i need it yeah so being pampered while i'm sick feels really good even though i don't like that because i like to be independent Mm -hmm. but yeah it's like so hard because i like both you like both equally what was the first one again supports me during stressful times yeah i'd rather support When it comes down to it. Yeah. I think they like to spoil us when we don't feel good. For sure. I think that's, and we're embracing it. Yes. I agree. (laughs) Like, are we capable? Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, your turn. I, did I go twice just then? I don't know. I don't think so. I feel most love when my partner, A, introduces me to new ideas and perspectives, or B, takes a walk with me. I would do the walk. Would you? Yeah, I think I would. I don't know. Like, I like, (sighs) Again, in my current relationship, Jake really is always introducing me to new ideas and perspectives, especially in the health industry because he's just so health forward. But at the end of the day, I'm like, babe, can you take a walk with me in the back? Because I feel safe and it just bonds us together. And like, that's my favorite thing. Yeah. When you put it that way, it's leaning me towards the walk. I think that's where my quality time comes into play. Yeah, because for me, I do a lot of walks by myself, and I'm completely fine. So I'm like, oh, I can do it on my own. Yeah. But if he joined me, would that fill my cup more, or would him introducing me to new things fill my cup more? Yeah. Because he does do that. So I'm like, I'm going to go with the walk. I think I'm going to pick the walk. I'm going to pick the walk. I'm going to pick the walk. Okay. (laughs) Perfect. I feel most loved when my partner, A, leaves me sweet notes, or B, expresses their desire for me. I'm going to say expresses their desire for me. Nothing I love more than a text in the middle of the day. Hands down. I feel most love when my partner A gives me a warm embrace. (laughs) That's what you're talking about. Or B discusses interesting topics with me. I'm going to do the warm embrace. Let me think. Oh, I don't know. (laughs) In some capacity, we have answered 
both of these questions early on, they've been worded differently if you're paying attention. Yeah. And so now what it's starting to do is it's narrowing down what two is important, which is going to come into first place versus second. Oh my God. I really have to think about this one. It's specifically, I feel most loved. So because of that, I think I'm going to say the warm embrace because that makes me feel more love rather than discussing interesting topics. But like I, I want to keep discussing interesting topics, so, but I am going to go with warm embrace. That was a hard one. Mm-hmm. I didn't like that one. I feel most loved when my partner A shares a sunset with me or B listens to my dreams and aspirations. Come on. <laughs> I love a good fucking sunset, I man. Know. Like me and him literally always walk during dusk so we can watch the sunset. It's my fucking favorite. Yeah. But like, I'm sorry. You can't not listen to my dreams and aspirations. I'm going to tell you three times a day. I literally <laughs> tell him multiple times a day. Like, oh, by the way, I'm thinking of doing this. He's like, yeah. Like he didn't, I didn't tell him yesterday and the day before. Gosh, that's annoying, but whatever. (laughs) That's hilarious. I feel most love when my partner A encourages open and honest communication or B cooks my favorite meal. (laughs) Open and honest communication. (laughs) He does make a mean pasta, though. Okay, that one time that you, I don't know if he made the sauce when you made us pasta. Yeah, he did. That was so good. Yeah, it It was so good. I was just talking about it with him. The other day, and we're gonna make it next week. I'm and save looking some forward for me to it because okay. I would love that. So it's good. <laughs> we will have leftovers. and like the br- you had the bread and every girl. You the whole it was setup was so delish. Good. The problem with that, I always get a headache when I have it, but it's been a while. It's been since December since I've had it, so oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for a headache. I feel most loved when my partner A holds my holds my hand in public, or B helps me learn from my mistakes. I'm gonna say helps me learn from my mistakes. I agree. Nothing like a supportive king. (laughs) I feel most love when my partner A apologizes when they're wrong or B writes me a heartfelt letter. Apologizing. I agree. Apologizing for sure. I feel most love when my partner A celebrates my accomplishments with me or B tells me how much I mean to them. Hmm. That's hard because both. But I'm going to go with celebrates accomplishments. Yes. I agree. That is where it's starting to to dip into the words of affirmation. I can already see where it's going. Mm-hmm. And I already know I'm not a words of affirmation girl. Yeah. So. Yeah. I agree. I need the support. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a physical thing or a words thing. And yeah. And to me, actions always are louder than words. So. I agree. I feel most love when my partner, A, goes out of their way to make my life easier. Or B, enjoys a long walk with me. I'm going to go with easier. Same, same. (laughs) Of course, I love my walks, but I enjoy when life is easier so I can just be a feminine little flower. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) I love it. Um, I feel most loved when my partner, A, understands my need for space, or B, kisses me out of the blue. This is a hard one for me because I do sometimes like my space. Yeah. Oh. But I also love when he initiates of just like... Thank you. Because I'm always the initiator. Like, I'm, I think maybe again, the control of me. Like, I just love, I'm just aggressive. Like, aggressive. Me, I really am. Yeah. Yeah. Always. I'm going to say kisses me out of the blue now that you word it like that. What was the first one again? Um, understands my need for space. Because it's very rare that I do need just a minute. True. And what makes me feel more loved is the kiss. I think so too. Like, I do very much value that the Same. understanding the need for space but i enjoy when yes. like more when he just like randomly kisses me and i think because in my relationship right now we both already va- like we understand each other's space mm-hmm. so it's not an issue if it was an issue for me i'd probably been like this is that's what, I, what I want and that's what i need but we are that's already an understanding in our relationship so i definitely like the kiss out of the blue yeah i feel most love when my partner a joins me in a thoughtful debate Or B, buys me small gifts just because. I'm going to say thoughtful debate. Same. I don't need gifts. Don't buy me anything. I feel most loved when my partner A, provides me with career advice and guidance, or B, spends quality time with me. 
I'm going to say quality time. Same, because when I look for guidance, of course I have the conversation with him, but I'm literally always dumping it on you. <laughs> like I, I did yesterday. It. I love it. Perfect. <laughs> That's what we're here for. That's exactly. I love it. Um, and I do value his career advice and guidance, but I feel more loved with quality time. Yes. And with our industry too, it's... It's very niche, very it's specific. very niche and very feminine. Mm-hmm. Just And they're very masculine men. Like, yeah. what advice is he going to give me? I mean, he does. He does the best he can when I'm like, I, I'm which feeling thumbnail? this way or what should I do <laughs> or blah, blah, blah. And he does the best he can. But when it really comes down to it, I'm going to talk with somebody who shares that space with me in the career. And that's you. I agree. So. Yeah. I do randomly send him thumbnails, kind of like how I'll send you thumbnails yeah. and he'll be like, I like this one. Yeah. yeah that's see, cute. And I, yeah, I love that too. I'll do that with selfies or whatever. Um, but I agree. I feel most love when my partner a does the laundry without me asking or B validates my feelings without judgment. Validates my feelings without judgment. Agree. I feel most loved when my partner a makes me laugh or B gives me a foot massage. <laughs> well, I know it is for you, <laughs> but that's for me too. It makes me laugh. I can't imagine him not making me laugh, but rubbing my feet. <laughs> yeah, no, no, thank you. Gosh, was that a fucking <clears throat> rocket? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a funny one. I feel most love when my partner A surprises me with tickets to my favorite band's concert or B helps me achieve my goals. <laughs> I'm going to go with the goals. I'm going to go with the go- goals as well. <laughs> We went backwards. I, we are. I feel most loved when my partner A fixes things around the house or B kisses me passionately. This is tricky because that's literally what he does and <laughs> it's constant and I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I just. I know my answer. I'm going to say kisses me passionately. That was my answer. That makes me feel more loved yes. in the moment. But part of that is because I don't know what it's like to not have him fixing things. Yeah. Well, nothing really needs to be fixed, but like, you know, I don't yeah. know. So I'm somebody, I grew up with such a handy dad and I did everything with my dad. And so I love that aspect of me fixing things around the house. Okay. And I only asked Jake to like make it a thing to do together okay but when in reality i'm like i don't need your help and i want to do it myself because like i'm that diy or like handy girl like i have my own toolbox okay. and everything so it's the passion for me got it like ruben i told him i wanted to do this gallery gallery wall last yeah. year and he was like i'll do it for you he like he will hang it I because i mean if i did that it wouldn't be level and he brought out yeah, they like to do it perfect. So, yeah, that's interesting. But I am going to say kisses me passionately because <laughs> we like that. We love a little passion. Also, I feel like where they were going with that is, like, because I feel like fixes things around the house is similar to, like, doing the laundry. Right. In their In eyes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So it's like, well, between those two specifically, if I changed what the act of service was, I just would have chosen the smooch. Right. I feel most love when my partner A learns about my interests or B shares a candlelight dinner with me. Hmm. Again, I'm like torn between both because I love being involved in each other's lives and understanding interests and what makes us tick, but at the same time I love our date nights because I really value quality time. And going to dinner is something that I really love doing I together. It's so intimate. It's romantic. I'm going to go with dinner. I think I might too. Because I'm thinking about like things that I've, I'm have i interested in that I've like shared about. Mm-hmm. And like it means a lot to me, obviously, that he's just like asking questions and wants to know. Right. But I would feel more like fired up from a romantic dinner. Yeah. I love that you keep bringing it back to what makes me feel loved. Because, mm-hmm. of course, we like all of these things. But yeah. It's loved. It's feeling the act of love. Mm-hmm. Yes. I feel most loved when my partner A makes me feel special or B showers me with words of affirmation. I'm going to say makes me feel special. Same. I mean, Which I feel like almost it's kind of like hand in hand. Like you can't have the words of affirmation without the making me feel special. Right. I feel most love when my partner, A, compliments my appearance. 
You're going to laugh. Or B explores a museum with me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's so on brand for me. What was well, the first you one? You know my answer. Compliments my appearance. Now, okay, here's the thing. I'm not a museum person. I know yeah. that you're going to pick the museum. Mm-hmm. For me, I'm like, well, what if that was something else that I would be wanting to do? Right. Because I would... A beach day, you guys on the boat. Yes, like I would prefer that right. over compliments. Oh, yeah. that's hard though. I do like the compliments. <laughs> but like I don't want to go to an actual museum. So I feel like this is similar in like the back massage one for right, you. Right, right, right. So I think I will pick... Explores Museum just because, like you said, Beach Day. Right. I would 100% prefer that. That's a hard one, though. Mm-hmm. I feel most loved when my partner A gives me a personalized gift or B takes the dog for a walk when I'm tired. Oh, Aww. my heart. <laughs> uh, that one? Yeah, same. That's so sweet. Very sweet. I feel most loved when my partner A plans a special date night or B leaves a cute note for me to find. Hmm. I'm going to say the note. Same. Are you? Same. Because he, so um, one time I was in the shower, Ruben was running really late and he pooped the dog for me really Mm -hmm. quick. And he like yelled up, bye, love you, blah, blah, blah. When I found Pretzel, there was a note on her that says I'm on a poo strike. Oh my goodness. And I still have the note. Like, I thought that was the cutest thing. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to say the cute note. I love that. I think that. that's so cute. I agree. I feel most loved when my partner, A, shares interesting articles with me, or B, shows empathy when I'm upset. <laughs> when I go with the empathy? <laughs> Give me the article. <laughs> I feel most loved when my partner, A, gives me a massage, or B, assists me in making difficult decisions. Difficult decisions, absolutely. Yep. I can't make a decision without him. <laughs> I'm a very indecisive person, and I always need that little extra guidance and nudge to be like, this is the right decision for you. And even if it ends up not being, I'm just glad that he did that with me. Yeah, for sure. I feel most loved when my partner A lets me have the last piece of dessert or B teaches me something new. This is really hard because he always gives me the last dessert. <laughs> oh. But I am going to say teaches me something new. I agree. Jake is very thoughtful in the way where he, any last of anything, he's always like, I want this for you. And I think it's the sweetest thing. Mm -hmm. But it's the bonding of learning something new that I think I'd have to. I agree. And him teaching me. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. That was a hard one, though. It was. I know it sounds silly with the dessert, but... Yeah. yeah, there's more to that, you know, it's For just sure. like a special thing. Mm-hmm. I feel most love when my partner A tries a new hobby with me or B crafts a homemade gift for me. Oh, the new hobby. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I've actually been wanting to do something together that's new, like a cooking class I think would yes. be fun. There's so much fun to do it. I want to. I feel most loved when my partner A connects with me emotionally or B is goofy and playful with me. Um, I'm going to say connects with me emotionally, although we are just so goofy all the time. But again, I would feel more loved with the emotional and connection. And I feel like because I'm emotionally connected, it brings that goofy side out in me. That's I am a goofy person as is, and I've definitely been in relationships or having dates with people that I'm like, I'm just not emotionally connected to you like that. And it doesn't bring that side out in me because of that. That makes sense. And if we weren't emotionally connected like i'm not gonna want to joke around no. that makes sense i feel most love my partner a gives me physical affection or b buys me flowers for no reason physical affection for me yeah for sure i feel most loved my partner supports my professional growth or b surprises me with breakfast in bed i'm gonna say prof- supports my professional growth sam but i was just wrapped up in like oh well that will be really nice <laughs> I like the idea. <laughs> yeah. But again, just the... Like, I don't even eat breakfast, but like, how cute. <laughs> right. I feel most love when my partner, A, talks with me about philosophy, or B, plans a surprise vacation for us. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with philosophy. Same. I, it's the control in me. Like, I'd rather plan. I know. I would do it. <laughs> you just put your money down. I feel most love when my partner, A, gives me a hug, or B, explores new places with me. Damn. I'm going to say explores new places. Same. But that's hard. That is a hard one. Every single morning when we wake up, we hug. 
That's like, sweet. That is something that I'm like, it's non-negotiable. We hug. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, when I go to bed tonight, or tonight, go to bed at night, we snuggle. But I need a hug. Like, yeah. Right in the morning. Yeah. Did you see that interview? It was a podcast interview. And the man said, um, men live longer when they kiss their significant other for six seconds at I least. I did see that. We sent that to each other oh, on social so media. And I was like, okay. I sent it to him. And he didn't like acknowledge that he received it. But when the next time he came in and he gave me a kiss, he held on to me. Aww. I feel most loved when my partner cooks a meal together with me or shares their deepest feelings with me. I'm going to say deepest feelings. Same. Although cooking together is one of my favorite things to do. We cook really well together. Yes. We tag team really well. I would love a different kitchen set up because we have like very limited counter space and the way our kitchen is set up is so weird. And so when we're both cooking together, we're just on top of each other and it's stressful. Even though we're not stressing at each other, I know deep down we're both like, oh, it's not at each other, it's at the space that we have. Yeah. And so I know if we had a better setup, but we would just love that so much more. You know what would work really well in your kitchen? Because there a is little a little island. Yes. And We've like, been looking and we just sh- haven't found something that makes sense for the space. Really? Some have been like, really ginormous and just doesn't make sense and then some are just too small yeah so we're just trying to find like the perfect one or one that we can also move around if need be yeah so we're just in like a but yeah we've my mom said it we've all been like we need that be perfect it would be nice i feel most love my partner a tells me what they like about me or b shows their love through actions (laughs) i love both I'm going to say shows their love through actions. Because that comes down to how does someone show you their love through actions? He's going to embrace you with a hug. So right. would you prefer that right. or would you prefer like the talking? No, for sure. Yeah. And that's it's funny because that specific situation, Jake is 100% in action. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are times where we, we have an ongoing joke. Every once in a while we'll be laying in bed and I say, Say three things you like about me. <laughs> he's like, like, stop it. And so we just laugh about that because he's just such an action. He's not a words person at all. If he was dating a girl that needed words of affirmation, it would never work. He says all the right things. The I love you. You're beautiful. You're the most beautiful girl in the whole world. He says all those things, but I don't need above and beyond like others would so yeah you know Ruben's really good with his words and he does not all the time like dump a bunch of lovey stuff but when he does it's like oh my god that was so meaningful and I will remember that I love that same 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 it doesn't happen often but when it does I'm like (laughs) think so (laughs) okay I feel most loved when my partner gives me a forehead kiss or b motivates me to achieve my self-improvement goals I'm going to go with the goals, but I do love a good forehead kiss. Who doesn't? This is a never-ending quiz. I know, seriously. I feel most loved when my partner A includes me in the conversation when we're out, or B visits a museum or gallery with me. Why would he not include me in a conversation? Right, I'm actually so confused at that. That would be rude if he didn't. Are people just out there on dates and they're just like not... Like they're excluding their partner from conversations? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to answer this because I just feel like that is just like the minimum, bare minimum. I'm going to say conversation just because I think that's rude if he didn't. Right, I agree. That's a strange one to me. I feel most loved when my partner A listens to me and empathizes with my feelings or B cuddles up to me as we watch a movie. I'm going to say listens to me and empathizes with my feelings. Yep. I feel most love when my partner A encourages curiosity and asking questions about the world. Or B buys me my favorite snack. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I feel most loved when my partner A encourages me to pursue my goals or B plays board games or puzzles. Come on. Well, I was gonna I say both. this is actually a hard one yeah. for me. I'm gonna pick encourages me to pursue my goals because obviously, but I would love him to play games and puzzles. He just doesn't like them. Aw. So one of my favorite things this year, Jake taught me how to play chess. Oh, fun! And it was just so fun to just learn something new because I know that was one of the questions in there. He yeah. taught me something new. And we got to do it together, and it's oh, so that's fun. Fun. Yeah. Okay, so that actually took us for a wild ride. The yes. initial quiz that I that you watched and listened to, 
that took over an hour. I'm going to cut a lot of it out because it was really repetitive, but it was never ending. Finally, we get to the end and it made us want to pay like $2. Finally, we were like, okay, but now it wanted all of these add-ons to be like $15. And that makes me think there was going to be more. For sure. And it wouldn't let you not do that. So I quickly tried another one. That one too. They both said that they were free quizzes and then they turn out not to be free. So I found another one. I quickly did this. It was definitely a lot more condensed, very simplified. Yeah. So but if I you think- want something more intense like what we just did, just beware that you're probably going to pay like 20 or more for it. Mm-hmm. But we wanted to do like a free one for you guys. No, just to like if We wanted to be like lighthearted. I mean, I loved the questions, but... We didn't need it to be that deep. No. But I'm pretty sure we're probably going to get the same... For sure. Results. It's the gist of it. This was just like the sugar-coated version. So I did this on actagape.com. Okay. So um, it says, so this is the other thing that's weird is one, two, three, four, five. What is empathy? That must be acts of, no. So it says affirmation. So words of affirmation. General helpful acts. That's acts of service. Affection and physical intimacy that's physical physical touch touch. prioritizing the relationship that's quality time yep what's the last one gifts gifts mine is not gifts so it says empathy hmm okay well gift giving is one i thought yeah but it's not on here i don't know so whatever this is what we're doing because this took way too long i know gift giving is not my thing but anyway it says empathy is the most one um and it's so funny because at the beginning i was saying i think that acts of service is my number one but physical touch and quality time is like a really close second they're all like right up there Mm -hmm. so all of these numbers are like 26 percent 18 percent 21 percent 22 percent so all of that is like right up there but then um being equal to you yes and words of affirmation are just low it's at 13 percent yeah so there we go i just need them all (laughs) (laughs) i need them all to feel love uh so when i took this quiz two years ago me and jake did it at the same time because my best friend she's all into this stuff she's like you have to do it because i did it and like her partner at the time they had very different love languages which is why she took the test and again it's good to know what your partner's love language is so that you can fill their needs and their cup um so me and jake did it at the same time and we got the exact same love language which was physical touch and quality time. They were both number one and they were both head to head, uh, very similar. And I can't remember like which one was first, but I think quality time was us first and then physical touch. And then everything else was super low and words of affirmation was like at the bottom of our list. So it was it was nice when I'm like, okay, this is why we vibe so much together. Like we both require what we're giving each other. So it was really nice to just be on the same page. Yeah, that's nice. And now would you say that the way you show love is in the same way? Yes, to him, because I know that that's what he likes. Mm-hmm. So it's weird. I I think before taking the test, if I had to think about how do I show up in relationships in general, I guess that would make sense. I quality time since that is my number one. Mm -hmm. I show that with my friendships with family. Like I want to spend the time together. So I think, yeah, that's what I do. And then physical touch. I feel like I'm a touchy person. I guess like I do like to give hugs and I do. Yeah. So yeah, I I feel like I show that. I show that way too. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like maybe in friendships you would be more, obviously, quality time, but Mm -hmm. then probably acts of service. You think so? I think so. You're always down to, like, help out and do things, you know? Yeah, and I guess to me, I just lump that with quality time because, like, I want to do stuff for you when I'm with you. Yeah. So I guess that does make sense. That's true. Yeah, I do. That's how I show love, too, then. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a compliment person. I mean, like, I'll tell, like, every... It's so, yeah. It's all mixed together. It really is all mixed together. So I think in some capacity, we do show levels of all of that. But um, as a requirement, like, I wouldn't need you to be like, wow, you look amazing today. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 
how I would, what would be important to me is that you just showed up for me and that we had that quality time spent together. Totally. So, yeah. I agree. Um, Well, yeah, that, well, it was fun until it wasn't. (laughs) Like, I I kept looking at Amanda and I was like, when when is this going to be over? Like, it it took so long. And then it bamboozling us. Like, I'm so over it. Um, That really, that was, um, very dishonest on the website because it said free quiz and I loved the thoroughness and I loved the banter that we had because it gave insight of what we like in a relationship and then just to milk us of money at the end that pissed me off yeah no so fuck them (laughs) I'm angry and to be honest I'm angry with the majority of them because it took us forever to find one that I could just quickly take a quiz for free and get results without being bamboozled so yeah that's annoying but um Nevertheless, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> I still enjoyed it. And I want to know um, what your, if you guys have taken this quiz before or if just even hearing what we've had to say, if you know already off the bat what, how you like to be loved and how you show love, I'm, I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like give us some li- little story times in the comments on YouTube or you can head to Instagram and go on our latest post and let us know too. So if you'd like to watch this episode, head over to our YouTube channel at In Her Skin Podcast. Join the community by following us on Instagram at In Her Skin Podcast and TikTok at In Her Skin. If you love what you heard, please leave a rating and review. It'll help to support the show. Thanks for listening.